There are three aspects to my presentation and my research work on cancer. The first is, is on how microbes may cause cancer or accelerate it. The second is how we can use microbes to detect and diagnose cancer. And thirdly, how we can exploit them to improve treatment of colon cancer. So for the first part, um, it seems that particular microbes may accelerate cancer. Now cancer is primarily a genetic disease and over time people accumulate mutations and ultimately one final set of mutations or represents the final insult, loss of cell cycle control, and you get cancer. And it transpired that in colon cancer there were particular populations of microbes which were uh, on the tumor. And if you administer those microbes in animal models, you can also cause cancer. But it seems that pretty much any microbes in those models will cause cancer because the animal models are suboptimal. So the jury is still out on whether or not gut microbes cause colorectal cancer, but it's looking strongly um, conditionally positive for that being the case. The second aspect is on micro microbes in diagnosing cancer. So we and others realized that um, among the microbes on the tumor were bacteria which we recognize as being from the oral cavity. And other people have shown that these microbes form biofilms or two-dimensional layers on the colonic tumor tissue. And we realized that if that were the case, we may be, may be able to take oral swabs from health people and cancer patients, compare the microbes and tell if somebody had colon cancer or not. And in a pilot study we published earlier this year in GUT, we were able to show that either the oral microbiome alone or in combination with the stool microbiome was able to detect colon cancer and even polyps. And that's very exciting because fighting cancer is all about early detection and a polyp is a, a precursor to a cancer which normally can only be detected by a colonoscope. So the fact that we have a non-invasive test is very exciting and we're trying to uh, prove that it works in a larger clinical cohort. The last part is about gut microbes and treating cancer and as many of your viewers will know one of the greatest advances in cancer treatment in recent years has been checkpoint inhibitors which are monoclonals that stop T cells getting turned off. And unfortunately it transpires that whether or not they work in a patient is largely dependent on the patient's baseline gut microbiome. Um, and different groups in Paris, in Chicago and in Texas have shown that um, presence or absence of particular microbes determine whether or not a patient re reacts. And this is really important because these therapies are life-saving and give people remission from things like malignant melanoma for years. So we and others have been trying to understand why the presence or absence of these microbes determines whether or not the checkpoint inhibitors work. And in collaboration with a pharmaceutical company in the UK, we have recently launched two clinical trials to administer purified organisms to try and rescue the, rescue the so-called non-responders, to convert them from being non-responsive to responsive to checkpoint inhibitors. So we're very excited about that phase of translational research.